The revelation of the book is from Allah, the exalted in might, the wise. Hamim, Tanzilul Kitab min Allah al Aziz al Hakim. Sending down of this book is from Allah, who is all powerful, all wise. إن في السماوات والأرض لآيات للمؤمنين. Indeed, within the heavens and earth are signs for the believers. إن في السماوات والأرض لآيات للمؤمنين. Verily, in the heavens and the earth there are signs for those people who believe. وفي خلقكم وما يبث من دابة آيات لقوم يوقنون. And in the creation of yourselves and what he disperses of moving creatures are signs for people who are certain in faith. وفي خلقكم وما يبث من دابة آيات لقوم يوقنون. And also in your creation and that which he has spread. The moving creatures, there are signs for those people who are convinced. فَأَحْيَا بِهِ الْأَرْضَ بَعْدَ مَوْتِهَا وَتَصْرِيفِ الرِّيَاحِ آيَاتٌ لِقَوْمٍ يَعْقِلُونَ And in the alternation of night and day, and in what Allah sends down from the sky of provision, and gives life thereby to the earth after its lifelessness, and in His directing of the winds, are signs for a people who reason. وَاخْتِلَافِ اللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ in the same way, in the alternation of the night and the day, وَمَا أَنْزَلَ اللَّهُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ بِالْبِسْقِنْ And what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends down from the heaven, from sustenance, فَأَحْيَا بِهِ الْأَرْضَ بَعْدَ بَعْتِهَا And then He revives the earth or land after its death. فَتَصْرِيفِ الْرِيَاحِ And in the changing of the direction of the winds, لَا آيَاتُ الْلِقَوْمِ آيَاتُ الْلِقَوْمِ يَاقِلُونَ in all these things, there are signs for a people who understand. These are the verses of Allah which we recite to you in truth. Then, in what statement after Allah and His verses will they believe? And these are the revelations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which we are reciting unto you with truth, with a purpose. Then in what discourse after Allah and His revelations will they believe? If they are rejecting the ayat of Allah, now what will they believe? Woe to every sinful liar. Woe to every sinful liar. Who hears the verses of Allah recited to him, then persists arrogantly as if he had not heard them. So give him tidings of a painful punishment. He listens to the revelations of Allah recited to him. Then he persists and insists in arrogance. 
کالم یسبا ہی بیو ایز اف ہی ایڈ ناٹ ہرڈ دم فا بشر ہو بے عذاب نلیم سو گیو ہم دلیٹ ٹائڈنگ آف ویری پین فل چسٹائسمنٹ وَإِذَا عَلِمَ مِنْ آيَاتِنَا شَيْئًا اتَّخَذَهَا هُزُوًا أُولَئِكَ لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ مُهِينٌ And when he knows anything of our verses, he takes them in ridicule. Those will have a humiliating punishment. وَإِذَا عَلِمَ مِنْ آيَاتِنَا شَيْئًا اتَّخَذَهَا هُزُوًا And when he comes to know from our revelation something, He takes them in mockery. أُولَائِكَ لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ مَّغْوِينَ For them, there is the chastisement which is humiliating and degrading. مِنْ وَرَائِهِمْ جَهَنَّمْ وَلَا يُغْنِي عَنْهُمْ مَا كَسَبُوا شَيْئًا وَلَا مَتَّخَذُوا مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ أَوْلِيَاءِ وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ عَظِيمٌ Before them is hell, and what they had earned will not avail them at all, nor what they had taken besides Allah as allies, and they will have a great punishment. بِوَرَائِمْ جَهَنَّمْ Behind them is the hell. وَلَا يُغْنِي عَنُمْ عَكَسَبُوا شَيَّنْ Whatever they have earned during this life of theirs, It will, it will be of no avail to them. وَلَا بَتَّخَدُوا مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ أَوْلِيَاهِ And also, the gods, false gods and protectors, they have taken unto themselves, besides Allah, they will also be of no avail. وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ عَظِيمٌ And for them will be a mighty chastisement. هَذَا هُدَى وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِآيَاتِ رَبِّهِمْ لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ مِنْ رِجِزٍ أَلِيمٌ This Quran is guidance, and those who have disbelieved in the verses of their Lord will have a painful punishment of foul nature. هذا هُدًا This is the guidance. وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِآيَاتِ رَبِّهِمْ As for those who reject and disbelieve in the revelations of, your, of their Lord, لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ مِرِزَنْ عَلِيمٌ For them shall be a painful chastisement of wrath. Allah, الذي سخر لكم البحر لتجري الفلك فيه بأمره ولتبتغوا من فضله ولعلكم تشكرون It is Allah who subjected to you the sea so that ships may sail upon it by his command, and that you may seek of his bounty, and perhaps you will be grateful. Allah is he who has subjected the sea to you. So that the ships may sail through it by his command. And so that you can seek out of his bounty. Or so that you become thankful to Allah. وَسَخَّرَ لَكُمْ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا مِّنْهِ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِقَوْمٍ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ And he has subjected to you whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth, all from him. Indeed, in that are signs for a people who give thought. This ayah is very noteworthy. The emphasis, jamia. And he has subjected to you everything that is in the heavens and everything which is in the earth. All of them. This ayah <coughs> clearly tells you know, the position of man as vacuant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not only those things which are in this world and this earth and round about it, they have been subjected to man. Whole universe has been subjected. So now, when we are conquering the space, 
This is actually in line with the Quran has said. Allah had already subjected this whole universe to us. It's only the time which has elapsed, you know, just as a seed has to take some time to become a plant. In the same way, this progeny of Adam had to take some time to get all that knowledge that it has gathered. And we can't say up to what more limits this human knowledge is to go. Actually, this has to go to the level of Dajjal. When all the forces of nature would be subjected to Dajjal, he will have conquered all the forces of the nature. And that is why he will, he will then claim, I am God. When I have conquered whole of the universe, then I am God. وَسَخْرَ لَكُمْ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْغَرْضِ جَمِعَا جَمِعَا مِنْهُ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتِ لِقَوْمِ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ Verily, in this are the signs for those people who reflect and ponder. قُلْ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا يَغْفِرُوا لِلَّذِينَ لَا يَرْجُونَ أَيَّامَ اللَّهِ لِيَجْزِيَ قَوْمًا بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ Say, O Muhammad, to those who have believed that they should forgive those who expect not the days of Allah, so that he may recompense a people for what they used to earn. O Prophet, say to those people who have come to believe, your followers, they should forgive. For some why, for a why, those people who don't hope and don't expect the days of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now this ayyab Allah, we have been mentioning it many a times. The, in the terminology of Quran, the days in which the big command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was executed, destroying whole nations. وَذَكِّرْ هُمْ بِأَيَّامِ اللَّهِ تَسْكِيرْ بِأَعْلَى اللَّهِ and تَسْكِيرْ بِأَيَّامِ اللَّهِ I mentioned these two terms adopted by Shah Waliullah Dehlvi Rahmatullahi Alayhi So because they don't fear it so give them some respite let them ponder, let them think don't wish that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would bring them the chastisement immediately قُلْ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا يَغْفِرُوا لِلَّذِينَ لَا يَجْدُونَ أَيَّابَ اللَّهِ لِيَجْزِيَا قَوْمٌ بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ So that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fully rewards the people of what they do. You give them time so that they can show what amount of evil they have within them. Let the whole evil come out. مَنْ عَمِلَ صَالِحًا فَلِنَفْسِهِ وَمَنْ أَسَاءَ فَعَلَيْهَا ثُمَّ إِلَىٰ رَبِّكُمْ تُرْجَعُونَ Whoever does a good deed, it is for himself. And whoever does evil, it is against the self. Then to your Lord you will be returned. مَنْ عَمِلَ صَالِحًا فَلِنَفْسِهِ Whosoever does good deeds, he does it for his own sake. وَمَنْ أَسَاءَ فَعَلَيْهَا And if he commits some evil, well, it is against himself. Summa ila rabbikum turja'oon and then to your Lord you will be returned. وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحُكْمَ وَالنُّبُوَّةَ وَرَزَقْنَاهُمْ وَرَزَقْنَاهُمْ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ وَفَضَّلْنَاهُمْ عَلَى الْعَالَمِينَ And we did certainly give the children of Israel the scripture and judgment and prophethood, and we provided them with good things and preferred them over the worlds. وَلَقَدْ عَطَيْنَا بَنِي سَعِيدَ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحُكْمَ وَالْنُبُوَّةِ And we had given the children of Israel the book, and the judgment and prophethood and hukum can means kingdom also the book, the kingdom and the prophethood and we provided them with good things 
وَفَضَّلْنَاهُمْ عَلَى الْعَالَمِينَ This is from the fourth time in Quran about Bani Israel. And we raised them higher than all the nations of the world. Actually in Quran, Alameen, literally it should mean all the worlds. But this is a style of Quran that taking the plural something, but what is meant is the thing that is in that. So plural denotes to that. Alameen, all the nations of the world, all the peoples of the world. Fadlallahum ala alameen. Twice in Surah Al-Baqarah, once last night, and now here again for the fourth time. وَآتَيْنَاهُمْ بَيِّنَاتٍ مِّنَ الْأَمْرِ فَمَخْتَلَفُوا إِلَّا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَهُمُ الْعِلْمُ بَغْيًا بَيْنَهُمْ إِنَّ رَبَّكَ يَقْضِي بَيْنَهُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ فِيمَا كَانُوا فِيهِ يَخْتَلِفُونَ and we gave them clear proofs of the matter of religion, and they did not differ except after knowledge had come to them, out of jealous animosity between themselves. Indeed, your Lord will judge between them on the day of resurrection concerning that over which they used to differ. And we gave them clear proofs of the command, the Ten Commandments that Allah gave them. Afterwards, they didn't differ. But after the knowledge had come to them, and the reason was their jealousy, mutual jealousy, mutual, you know, hatred, you may call. They are to dominate over each other. In the Verily, your Lord will judge between them on the day of the judgment, on the day of resurrection, فِيمَا كَانُوا فِيهِ يَخْتَلِفُونَ In all those matters in which they had been differing. ثُمَّ جَعَلْنَاكَ عَلَى شَرِيعَةٍ مِّنَ الْأَمْرِ فَاتَّبِعْهَا وَلَا تَتَّبِعْ أَهْوَاءَ الَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ Then we put you, O Muhammad, on an ordained way concerning the matter of religion. So follow it, and do not follow the inclinations of those who do not know. And then, O Muhammad sallallahu we have established you on a sharia of our command. Now it's very important to note, the sharia is after Moses to Muhammad sallallahu Hazrat Masih alayhi salam didn't bring any sharia. It was hikmah as we have read last night. Hikmah, wisdom. The essence of iman and faith. But the sharia was the same. And he said so. His words are still preserved in the gospel. Don't think I have come to destroy law. This law of Moses will remain. But now Quran has come. And this is the new sharia. Then we have established you on the sharia of our command. So you have to follow that. And don't follow the caprices or the wishes or the lusts of those people who don't know. إنهم لن يغنوا عنك من الله شيئا وإن الظالمين بعضهم أولياء بعض والله ولي المتقين Indeed, they will never avail you against Allah at all. And indeed, the wrongdoers are allies of one another. But Allah is the protector of the righteous. This Quran is enlightenment for mankind and guidance and mercy for a people who are certain in faith.
أم حسب الذين اجترحوا السيئات أن نجعلهم كالذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات سواء محياهم ومماتهم ساء ما يحكمون Or do those who commit evils think we will make them like those who have believed and done righteous deeds, make them equal in their life and their death? Evil is that which they judge. وَخَلَقَ اللَّهُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ بِالْحَقِّ وَلِتُجْزَى كُلُّ نَفْسٍ بِمَا كَسَبَتْ وَهُمْ لَا يُظْلَمُونَ And Allah created the heavens and earth in truth, and so that every soul may be recompensed for what it has earned, and they will not be wronged. وَخَلَقَ اللَّهُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ بِالْحَقِّ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created the heaven and the earth with truth, that is means with the purpose. There is nothing purposeless over here. وَلِتُجْدَى كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مِمَا كَسَبَتْ And so that every soul is recompensed Whatever it has earned, وَهُمْ لَا يُسْلَمُونَ And they will not be wronged. No injustice will be done to them. Now comes one of the most important ayat of Quran regarding shirk, the practical aspect of shirk. أَفَرَأَيْتَ مَنِ اتَّخَذَ إِلَاهَهُ هَوَاهُ وَأَضَلَّهُ اللَّهُ عَلَىٰ عِلْمٍ وَخَتَمَ عَلَىٰ سَمْعِهِ وَقَلْبِهِ وَخَتَمَ عَلَىٰ سَمْعِهِ وَقَلْبِهِ وَجَعَلَ عَلَىٰ بَصَرِهِ غِشَاوَةً فَمَنْ يَهْدِيهِ مِنْ بَعْدِ اللَّهِ أَفَلَا تَذَكَّرُونَ Have you seen he who has taken as his God his own desire, and Allah has sent him astray due to knowledge, and has set a seal upon his hearing and his heart, and put over his vision a veil? So who will guide him after Allah? Then will you not be reminded? <laughs> Have you seen or considered the case of a person who has taken his own nafs? That means the lusts and desires of the nafs, of the hidden libido, as a god for himself. He is saying with his tongue, La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah, repeating and repeating and repeating. While actually he has made his desires. His lusts, God, why? He is obeying them without seeing whether it is halal or haram. It is permissible or prohibited by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A desire emerges from your id or libido, from amongst your animal instincts, and you follow the desire, you fulfill it. All gratification of that desire you do without seeing whether the way you have adopted is permissible according to the Sharia of Allah or prohibited. So now who is your Lord? Your God is your nafs. Now nobody has ever bowed towards his nafs or prostrated before the nafs. But this is this is the practical issue. I might think, and my, I might be proud, I am 100% Muwahid. Because as far as the Tawheed in creed is concerned, Tawheed fil Aqeedah, well, I, I am satisfied that I have fully understood it and I take it. But what about this practical side? Taes Abdul Dinare wa Abdul Dirham. Woe! So the servant of dinar and dirham, bondsman of dirham or dinar, his name is Abdul Rahman. Actually, he is Abdul Dinar. When he is after getting dinar, without seeing whether it is halal for him or haram, the love of dinar, the love of dirham, the love of money and wealth, 
is more in their hearts than the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So who is, who is their Lord? Who is their God? Practically, wealth. They are worshipping wealth. Worshipping dollars. Worshipping pounds. Worshipping rupees. <coughs> and takas, etc., etc. أَفَرَائَتَ مَنِ اتَّخَذَ إِلَاهَهُ هَوَاهُ وَأَضَلَّهُ اللَّهُ عَلَىٰ عِلْمٍ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has led him astray. Despite all his knowledge, he is a PhD, PhD in Tafsir. He got a PhD from McGill in Hadith, in Fiqh. But he is the boss man of his wishes. You might be an alim, you might be a mufassir, you might be a muhaddis, you might be a faqih, you might be a mufti. But if you are serving your lusts and desires irrespective of whether something is permissible or prohibited, then you are mushrik in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَخَتَمَ عَلَىٰ سَمْهِ وَقَلْبِهِ وَجَعَلَىٰ عَلَىٰ بَصْرِهِ غِشَاوَةً and of such a person, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put a seal on his heart and on his hearing, and there is a curtain before his eyes. Now, who can give him the guidance after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who, who, who has, so to say, put a seal on his heart? So, are they not admonished or reminded? وَقَالُوا مَا هِيَ إِلَّا حَيَاتُنَا الدُّنْيَا نَمُوتُ وَنَحْيَا وَمَا يُهْلِكُنَا إِلَّا الدَّهْرِ وَمَا لَهُمْ بِذَلِكَ مِنْ عِلْمٍ إِنْ هُمْ إِلَّا يَظُنُّونَ And they say, there is not but our worldly life. We die and live, and nothing destroys us except time. And they have of that no knowledge. They are only assuming. And they say, there is no other life for us except this life or this world. We die ourselves. And live ourselves. Now, he and you meet means Allah gives life. Allah puts you to death. They say, no, no, no. We die ourselves. We live ourselves. This is the materialism of this age. There's nobody. This is the world of matter. There are laws of physical change, laws of chemical change. Under these laws, this universe is going. There's no need of some controller and some somebody running this universe. No. We don't believe. And nothing kills us except the time. Time passes and we are finished. That's all. No God. This is Dahriyat. You might have heard this word. Dahriyat. Materialism. Dahriyat. They don't have any knowledge of it. In Humalaya known. They are only conjecturing. Guessing. وَإِذَا تُتْلَى عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُنَا بَيِّنَاتٍ مَا كَانَ حُجَّتَهُمْ إِلَّا أَنْ قَالُوا إِلَّا أَنْ قَالُوا اُتُوا بِآبَائِنَا إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ and when our verses are recited to them as clear evidences, their argument is only that they say, Bring back our forefathers, if you should be truthful. And whenever clear revelations are recited unto them, their last argument is, In the long run, in the end, they always used to say, Okay! If there is going to be resurrection, bring our forefathers before us. Then we shall believe that there can be resurrection. 
قل الله يحييكم ثم يميتكم ثم يجمعكم إلى يوم القيامة لا ريب فيه ولكن أكثر الناس لا يعلمون Say, Allah causes you to live, then causes you to die, then he will assemble you for the day of resurrection, about which there is no doubt. But most of the people do not know. Say, Allah will revive you. Summa yumitukum. Allah is keeping you alive, yuhikum. Summa yumitukum. Then he will put you to death. Summa yajmaukum ila yawm al qiyamat ila ala bafi. Then he will gather you all together to the day of resurrection in which there is no doubt. Walakin naqsar al nas ila alamun. But most of the people know not. وَلِلَّهِ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَيَوْمَ تَقُومُ السَّاعَةُ يَوْمَئِذٍ يَخْسَرُ الْمُبْطِلُونَ And to Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. And the day the hour appears, that day the falsifiers will lose. وَلِلَّهِ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ And for Allah is the sovereignty and kingdom of the heavens and the earth. And the day on which the hour will come. On that day, the followers of falsehood will be the losers. تدعى إلى كتابها اليوم تجزون ما كنتم تعملون. And you will see every nation kneeling from fear. Every nation will be called to its record and told, Today you will be recompensed for what you used to do. وترى كل أمة جاسية، كل أمة جاسية. And you will see all the nations. <coughs> They will be kneeling down. Kullu ummati tudha ila kitabiha. Every ummah, every group, every nation will be called towards the book of the record of its events and deeds. And then, Al yawma tujdawna ma kuntum ta'amalu. And then it will be said, today you will be rewarded and recompensed for what you had been doing. هذا كتابنا ينطق عليكم بالحق إنا كنا نستنسخ ما كنتم تعملون. This, our record, speaks about you in truth. Indeed, we were having transcribed whatever you used to do. This record of ours, this book of ours, it is speaking against you with truth. There is nothing wrong in this record. And I said, it might be a computer, a big joint computer. Simply, you press a button and the life of a person, of an individual, the whole film might start. Now, what can you deny? You are doing it. See it. Is it not you? How will you deny? هذا كتابنا ينطق عليكم بالحق إنا كنا نستنسخ ما كنتم تعملون We had been writing and recording what you were doing. أما الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فيدخلهم ربهم في رحمته ذلك هو الفوز المبين so as for those who believed and did righteous deeds, their Lord will admit them into His mercy. That is what is the clear attainment. Now so, those who came to believe and they did good deeds, So their Lord will admit them, make them enter His mercy. And that will be definitely the most manifest Success. وَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا 
أَفَلَمْ تَكُنْ آيَاتِي تُتْلَى عَلَيْكُمْ فَاسْتَكْبَرْتُمْ وَكُنْتُمْ قَوْمًا مُجْرِمِينَ But as for those who disbelieved, it will be said, Were not our verses recited to you? But you were arrogant and became a people of criminals? As for those who disbelieved, it will be said to them, Was not my revelation recited to you? But do you show arrogance? And verily you are the guilty people, criminals. وَإِذَا قِيلَ إِنَّ وَعْدَ اللَّهِ حَقٌّ وَالسَّاعَةُ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهَا قُلْتُمْ مَا نَدْرِي مَا السَّاعَةُ قُلْتُمْ مَا نَدْرِي مَا السَّاعَةُ إِنْ نَظُنُّ إِلَّا ظَنًّا وَمَا نَحْنُ بِمُسْتَيْقِنِينَ And when it was said, Indeed, the promise of Allah is truth and the hour is coming, no doubt about it. You said, We know not what is the hour. We assume only assumption, and we are not convinced. <laughs> and when it was said that the promise of Allah is true, and that hour will come, there is no doubt about it. You said, we don't know, we can't understand. What is this hour? This ayah, as I understand it, is, is we can say that the condition of most of us is reflected in this ayah. We think, yes, your arguments are convincing. It seems that the day of judgment should come. The virtuous people should get the reward. It's very logical. And the culprits and those people who were rebellious towards their Lord, they must be punished. Yes. But in Nazunno Illazan, we do feel what you are saying is correct. It might happen. But But we are not convinced. And unless the conviction is there, there will be no change in your behavior. A dogma, believing in the day after the last day and resurrection, but not the conviction. So you will spend everything to get this world. Unless there is a conviction that that day has to come and there is going to be the life of hereafter and that will be the eternal and that will be the real life, unless this conviction is there, your attitudes, your behavior in this world will not change. وَإِذَا قِيلَ إِنَّ بَعْدَ اللَّهِ حَقٌّ وَالسَّعَاتُ الْعَرِبَ فِيهَا قُلْتُمْ مَا نَدْرِي مَا السَّعَاهَ إِنَّ ذُنُّ إِلَّا زَنَّن وَمَا نَحْنُ بِمُسْتَيْقِنِينَ We do feel it might happen, yes, but we are not convinced. بَدَا لَهُمْ سَيِّئَاتُ مَا عَمِلُوا وَحَاقَ بِهِمْ مَا كَانُوا بِهِ يَسْتَهْزِئُونَ And the evil consequences of what they did will appear to them, and they will be enveloped by what they used to ridicule. وَبَدَا لَهُمْ سَيِّئَاتُ مَا عَمِلُوا And then, the evils that they had committed will come before them. وَحَاقَ بِهِمْ مَا كَانُوا بِهِ يَسْتَهْزِئُونَ and then those things will encompass them about which they will be mocking. They were mocking. What is Jannah? What is Jahannam? They were laughing at it. But now those things will come before them as realities. <laughs> And it will be said, Today we will forget you as you forgot the meeting of this day of yours, a 
and your refuge is the fire, and for you there are no helpers. Today, we shall forget you. Just as you forgot the meeting of the day, of this day of today, you just ignored it, so we are going to ignore you. Go away. And your abode is fire. And there are no helpers for you. That is because you took the verses of Allah in ridicule and worldly life deluded you. So that day they will not be removed from it nor will they be asked to appease Allah. This is because you took the revelations of Allah in mockery. And the life of that world, previous world, it deceived you, deluded you. So today you will not be taken out of this hell. Wallahum you start a moon, nor they will be given any leave to appeal. Okay, apologize. When you give this permission to somebody, what does it mean? If you apologize, I'll forgive you. But no. There this door will be closed. No leave of appeal or apology. <laughs> Then to Allah belongs all praise, Lord of the heavens and Lord of the earth, Lord of the worlds. So for Allah is the all praise who is the Lord of the heavens and the Lord of the earth, Rabbil Alameen, who is the Lord of all the worlds. وله الكبرياء في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم. And to him belongs all grandeur within the heavens and the earth, and he is the exalted in might, the wise. وله الكبرياء في السماوات والأرض، and to him belongs the dominion and majesty of the heavens and the earth. وهو العزيز الحكيم. And he is all-powerful, all-wise.